So I got another project. Uh, here's a, a friend's uh, Hydralisk, Hydra, and it's all pr primed black. And I'm going to airbrush it a uh, blue and green. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush white on this first and then do the airbrushing afterwards. So, um, we'll come back with a, uh, the stage after I get it dry brushed. Alright, so here is the Hydralisk after doing some dry brushing. And apparently the color scheme for this thing is supposed to be a blue and green, blue blue upper part and green bottom part so I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue and see how that turns out and then I might have to just paint the green part because it doesn't really look like the green really covers a whole lot of the body at least as far as for the detail we'll have to see but here it is after the dry brushing and now I'll give it its blue coat Hey everybody, so I went ahead and put another uh, just a kind of a light uh, dry brush on the skin area just to kind of um, bring out a little bit more brighter color and of course you can see one thing that I did is in the scales here I gave them a solid since they're thicker I thought they should stand out better so I gave that a solid white coat on the scales and then I noticed I missed the tail earlier so I gave that a little bit heavier coat uh, just a little bit I mean just really a light it's probably not even going to show up after I coat it with another blue but um, we'll see what happens and then for the skull caps here I went ahead and made them uh, solid white so that the blue will come out brighter on the top just to give it a little bit more contrast and maybe kind of connect it from from this to the scales and then I uh, still don't know what I'm going to do about the bottom green part uh, see about that later but uh, I'm going to give this a few moments to dry before I, I put my blue coat over it and then from there after the blue coat should be just a, a green texturing and after the green some details and then after the details uh, we'll do a glazing and the glazing I'll probably do a, a burnt umber and a ultramarine blue mix and then I'll glaze that over and uh, reduce uh, reduct reduce that later so um, you can see that some areas of the neck here they're just not practical to get at and I figure um, once I get mostly just the outer area the neck parts in the back will just blend in so we'll see how that works alright um, so yeah we're going to let this dry and I might post what I got right now up. So a quick update on the Dragon project. And you can see it adds some color. I'm trying to figure out the range here for this macro lens. But uh, yeah, so start to add some color. Got bone color in there for the claws and on the teeth. And then I'm working on the, the green underside or soft part of the dragon here. And then um, see if I can and here's a view of the underside if it comes in okay here. And so yeah, it's coming along pretty good. What I did on the back, 
these back scales here as I went with um, the mix that I did for the cobalt blue for the airbrush. I have plenty of that left over. Um, I just put some on the table, added some titanium white to it just to get a lighter shade. And then I felt that the I felt that maybe it would be kind of a cool idea to have just the top crest part, which I have been working on trying to get a lighter shade. And I think that's about right. And then I added the lighter shade to these back protrusions on the neck. And I'm kind of still de debating whether I should do the full headpiece, the lighter shade or not. I'm kind of going against it. I don't think I really need to do that. And also on um, the uh, underneath part of the head here, I'm, at, I'm starting to do layers of the green as well, matching green that's on neck areas here. And that back neck is being a little troublesome to get into, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm kind of done now for working on this for right now. Uh, unfortunately, when it was primed black, I didn't notice that there was a lot of flashing left that didn't get cleaned up. So like on the mouth here, there's a lot of flashing in the teeth and stuff like that. So I decided I'm just gonna kind of really just glob it up with red paint and leave it at that. We'll wash it, and I mean not wash it, but we'll glaze it and then see what it looks like after the glaze. And I still gotta hit the teeth better with the bone so we can get the, them to pop up a little bit better. And I still gotta get the mouth brighter too yet. So yeah, the I even got working on the under pads. The pads of the dragon are green too. Hydra dragon, whatever it is, Hydra. I think is what it's called, isn't it? But so yeah, I'm touching up the little greens in the bottom here, and it's taking a while with the green because the green is actually just a uh, well, actually, it's not a hue, but it's a, a brilliant yellow green. Um, but it's just taking some layers to build up the color. So, I don't think I'm going to bother with the eyes. I think when I put the glaze on it and those sunken in areas, I think they're going to really pop out a lot better dark and black versus being trying to uh, painted and that's just my hunch just like you know painting this lighter shade with a hunch I just felt like it was the right thing to do but I just thought I'd quick do another video to show where I'm at and I'm pretty happy I think there's a little bit of a fushy here. Uh -huh. There we go. We got rid of it. I think I'm going to go with a brown rock on this. I think that instead of going with the gray, just to give it a little bit different appeal but yeah I've ran I'm rambled on long enough on this so we'll just add this with the rest of the clip and uh, we'll be back when I got more work done